These guys are good. Let's get to work. Hello, everyone, and welcome to CSF 102, Computer Security Fundamentals. Uh, thank you for signing up for this online course. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great day today and that you're looking forward to learning about cybersecurity and all that it has to offer at the University of Rhode Island. So what we will be using for this course is what is known as a learning management system, which is known as Sakai. So in Sakai, you will be able to access that through uri.edu. You can click on eCampus or Sakai, and you'll be able to put your username and password, and you will be able to access this course just like you see in front of you here. From there, you will click on CSF 102 for spring 2018. On your left-hand side, on my right-hand side, my right, your left, depending on where you're sitting, you will notice that um, there is an announcements section. So whenever my staff and I post an announcement, you will see that the announcement exists on the right-hand side. Okay. In the left-hand side, you will see a getting help section. This is where my staff and I will be able to help you with any questions you have related to the course, whether it's about an assignment, grading, et cetera. Okay. So if I click on the syllabus, I'm pretty sure you're wondering who's the staff. You will notice that your two instructors for the course are Douglas Tondro. So the person speaking to you right now is Douglas Tondro. And you will notice the second instructor is Jay Gabriel. Your teaching assistant for the course will be Ryan Sullivan. So he will be the one that you will be able to email in regards to anything related to an assignment or any grades that you receive. So this is an online course. Materials are released on Fridays. Quizzes, on, quizzes are due on Fridays and assignments are all due on Mondays. There is a prerequisite for this course, and that is CSC 201 or CSC uh, 106. Okay. So the description of the course, without going through the syllabus too much, it's really to get you the foundational elements that you need to have a good understanding of cybersecurity and what it is that it has to offer. So you guys can spend some time uh, to review the course. So your required reading for this course is through this ebook or online book that you will be able to utilize um, to purchase. The book costs $35 and it is a CompSIA A plus certification ebook. If you click on this link, it will navigate you over to this uh, website here where you can purchase the $35 ebook that you will be able to utilize. Do not purchase the 109 section. We'll only be using the $35 section. All labs and assignments for the course are designed by us. So you will be able to utilize that for the course. So all you have to do is click on add to cart. Once you add the ebook to the cart, it will allow you to proceed to checkout, write your information that you'll need uh, with your debit or credit card, and you'll be able to purchase the book. You will then get an email. And what that email will do is it will actually link you over to what is known as um, skill pipe. Okay. So skill pipe, is this website that you'll see here that will allow you to access um, the book. So you'll put your username and password that you created, and it will allow you to access uh, the book so you could read and go through anything that you need to for the book. Okay. So if you have any questions about that, please email me and let me know. Okay. So what are some of the requirements or other requirements that you need to for the course? So I highly recommend that you have a very, uh, you know, strong machine that's really going to essentially allow you to do all the things that you need uh, for the course. So the basic requirements for that course is you need a machine that has at least 20 gigabytes of free hard drive space, at least four gigabytes of memory, a USB sound card, and some form of high speed internet. So those are critical uh, for you to have in order to make sure you can get this done. Okay. There's going to be a recorded video lectures such as this one that will go over a lot of the things with you there's going to be assignments readings quizzes and online discussions uh, for you to review as you go through the syllabus you'll notice what our grading system is assignments are 60 percent quizzes are 30 percent and class participation is 10 percent all right so that is the syllabus in a nutshell if you go to lessons you will notice that you have your first lesson which you need to start today okay the lesson is not due until friday but it is basically an intro to kind of get you accustomed and used to what it is that we have to offer so if you click on the course central 
you will notice that we have clearly outlined every learning objective that you need to know for the course. That is, what is cybersecurity? What is digital forensics? Uh, provide an example of cyber threat, uh, etc. Okay. From there, you will notice that there's a few videos that we have that we would love for you to watch. And you have your first assigned reading from the ebook um, that we uh, have you purchase. You'll notice that the book does not have pages, but instead it has what is known as position. If you see position one through um, 3,370, don't worry, it's only really 10 pages, but the way the book is laid out, it uses positions instead of uh, page numbers. So this is actually really 10 pages, but I just wanted to make sure I clarify that. So you have your first practice quiz, which you will take that first practice quiz will uh, take information from all the videos that you've watched in addition to the reading that you have to read for the week. Okay. If you don't know how to sub submit uh, anything, you can click on this link layer here, how to submit a quiz in Sakai, and the link will actually take you through all of that. If you click on help sessions, you will notice that we have clearly outlined the hours that we've made available uh, for help sessions. You can always use or email this email account, which my staff and I will be checking periodically. So we will get back to you in 24 hours uh, or less to answer any question you have. However, if you are would like to set up an appointment, please uh, email us at least 24 hours in advance so that way we can make sure we have enough time to meet with you. If you would like to meet with any of us remotely, you could use join me. Here is the link and it will take you through the steps of how to download it. Okay. So some frequently asked questions. We have a frequently asked questions section such as how do I place a screenshot in Windows? How do I do it on a Mac? How do I create a Google Docs? How do I create a zip folder, etc.? All of these questions are here um, for you. Okay. If you click on assignments, this is where when we release your assignments, you'll be able to see uh, what your assignments are. Given that it is the first week, of course, there is no assignment that um, is required of you. However, you do have a practice quiz that is not graded. But the second week, this Friday, your first assignment will be released and available to you. Okay. If you go to tests and quizzes, this is where you'll be able to see what tests and quizzes are available. In the forum section, what I highly recommend is that you guys use the forum section to ask any question you have about an assignment. So we will be checking the forums periodically to answer questions you have about um, the assignment because you or any other student in the class may have a similar question. So we recommend that you use the forum because a colleague or a classmate may be able to answer your question a whole lot faster than we can. So if you have any question related to an assignment um, or a lab, please post it in the forum and one of the staff or another student may answer that question. Please do not post answers to the quizzes or assignments in the forum. Use it to ask questions that you seek clarification on. Okay, so that's basically it in a nutshell of what the course layout is going to be. So every Friday, the lessons are going to be released. So when you log in, you'll notice that um, you will only have access to what is known as the core central. This Friday, your first assignment will be released and the first uh, quiz will also be released for you to take. Once you've purchased the book, you will be able to access it through this skill pipe section that I went over before. So the book is broken into two sections, 901 and 902. And this week's reading, you will have to read the 902 section. So if you double click on it, it will actually navigate you and bring you to the ebook. So this is the first page that you will have to read. You notice it starts at position one. And as I go down to the end of the page, you'll notice that it ends at position uh, 3366. It also depends on the browser that you're using. But this is basically what you will have to read this week in a nutshell. Um, there's video lectures that are embedded into the reading. I highly recommend that you watch those videos because they are designed to help you uh, with the course. All right. So that's basically all I have in a nutshell. Welcome to the course. Uh, the course is really designed to give you guys a foundational understanding of cybersecurity. It's designed to be fun, engaging. There's a lot of hands-on activities that we will have you do. And again, uh, welcome. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to email us. Um, or introduce yourself to us in the forum uh, to let us know, you know, who you are, where you're from, 
and what you're looking forward to getting from this course. I hope you enjoyed this overview and I hope you're ready and excited to learn a little bit more about cybersecurity uh, at the University of Rhode Island.